Hello crafters and welcome to another video with Amy Makes That. Today's tutorial, I am sharing how to create an SVG file. Now some of you might not know what an SVG is and I will tell you in this video, but if you need some brushing up on some crafting terminology, I do already have a video on my channel here that explains the most common crafting terms that you might need to know. So I will put the card for that video right here. You can pause this video, watch that one, and then come back here. But an SVG is defined as a multi-layered file or a multi-colored that does not have pixels. PNG and JPEG files have pixels, but SVGs are created by using vectors. So as you can see here, this is my lovely SVG file. It is a chocolate chip cookie, one of my favorite desserts. And you can see that there are three main colors. There's this dark brown layer, which is right here, this medium brown color, and then this light peach color to highlight those little chocolate chips. So I'm going to show you how to create an SVG like this, and let's get into it. So the first step is to find your image. Now what I like to do is use the lovely search engine Google and type in whatever image you want to look up. Now fair warning that this is a personal use kind of thing. So if you are looking to sell products, you cannot just Google an image and save it to your computer and sell that because you do not have the rights to that. That is why I'm thinking of making a part two video on how to actually make one that you can use for commercial use. So if you are interested in that video, please comment that. For now, for the purposes of this video, I'm going to look up cookie PNG because we wanna make sure that this file is transparent which is what a PNG file is if you are unaware. I like to go to this button right here to tools, select that and then go to color. That way we can go to transparent and find a nice cookie that does not have a background color. Now some of these are all images. You can do this, use any of these of course and convert that into an SVG. This one's really cute. But to find mine, what I did was I clicked on cartoon. You could also click on clip art, any of those will work, but here you can see this is the one that I used. So in order to save that, you will just right click it, save image as, and then save it to your desktop. So this one I'm just gonna save as cookie. I'm going to click out of this, and as you can see, we are going to use this website called png2svg.com. This is the most common, free, best way to convert any file, like a JPEG or PNG, like I said before, into an SVG. So first we're going to choose our file. You can also drag it, but I'm just gonna choose the file for purposes for today's video. So let's choose the file, click on cookie, and then down below here, it's going to populate the cookie image. Now, as you can see, it automatically selected the colors available, but what I would like to do is just select three colors because we have this dark brown color, this medium brown color, and then this light peach color. So I'm going to minus this two times to get those three colors. And then the cool thing about this is that sometimes it doesn't pick up the colors as accurately. So I'm going to select this and then it comes with that eyedrop tool and you just click here. And again, do the same thing for here. So I'm going to select this, select there, and then select this one here and choose that light peach color. So once you have this selected to the way you want, we will click generate. And if you want to be so generous of the person who actually made this website, you can donate. And here's the file here. Now we can download it as an SVG and it came out really cute. So let us download it. And again, it downloaded right here. So I'm just gonna drag it to my desktop. And then we can minus that and go into Cricut Design Space. Now the next step is to upload this into Design Space. We will click the upload button, click upload, then browse, or you can drag it. And here it is, the cookie. And this is the SVG. Now when you're uploading it, see this is why it's so important to have a transparent background. Because if you didn't, it would just come up with this box and you would have to do a few extra steps to get rid of that box, which can be annoying. So this kind of cuts out all of that extra time. So we will select this and upload it. Now again, I want to reiterate that this is not a print then cut image. As you know, print and cut images are one file. I guess I can, I can delete this. So print and cut images are one file. If I uploaded this, like I'll give you an example. If I upload, go to upload image, browse, um, and I just selected the cookie, click open, 
I can select it as complex, you know, minus the background here so we don't have the background, apply and continue. This is what the print and cut image looks like, and this is the cut image. Now, the reason why we do SVGs is because we want to have the three colors. So say you're applying this to a onesie or a t-shirt. You want to make sure that you have this dark brown color, this medium brown color, and this light peach. So when you're applying each layer, you're layering it on top of one another. But say we upload it as a print and cut image. I'm going to upload it. It's going to take a few. Add to canvas. And then this is the print and cut image. Now, as you can see, look at this SVG multi-layered, right? You have the three colors here. This is print and cut, it is one. So if you wanted to heat press this onto a onesie, you would have to use printable h 2 vinyl, which I do have a video already on that. If you would like to watch that, I will insert the card here. Or you have printable vinyl, AKA this is how you would use it on a sticker. There's like these little pieces here. I don't really care for these here to be dark brown because these are tiny and the Cricut might not even cut these truthfully. So you can actually erase these by using the contour button. So let's click on the layer, the dark brown, and click contour. Now you can do two options here. You can have everything here and select it yourself, or you can hide all the contours and then just select the layers that you want. Okay, so I can click this, right, and see what happens. It makes it all dark, but we don't want that, right? So I can click here and here. Oh, so this is kind of attached to this layer, which is why you won't be able to, but I can select these and then click off. And then we can go to the medium layer and click contour and then select it here. So that way, see, fills in. So now I don't have to worry about these little pieces on the side, if that makes sense. Yeah, so unfortunately we can't do it for this little piece over here. And then just click out of it. So now you have these three layers and that is how you clean up the SVG image. Now the alternative, if you don't wanna use the PNG to SVG website, is to click upload and select the original version of that photo. So it was this right here and click open. Don't select the SVG. Instead, we're gonna click simple and click continue. And then we're going to remove each color individually. And I'll show you what I mean. This will help if your image for some reason when you convert it to the PNG to the SVG website isn't as clear. So I'm going to select this because we don't want this background image. And the first color that I'm going to choose is the dark brown. So let's get rid of this and all of these insides, right? Because we're just selecting the dark brown layer. So just select all of these. Scroll down, three more. Looks good to me. We're gonna apply and continue and upload it as a cut image. Select it, add to canvas. Now you have the first layer which is the dark brown layer. And what's cool is that if you upload the first one already, it'll save the colors here, so you don't have to keep searching for them. Not that it matters because you have your vinyl, but it helps visually. And then you'll repeat the same exact process for the brown and the peach layers. So let's upload again, upload image, browse, and select the cookie again. Select simple, continue. This time we're going to remove everything but the brown layer. So again, let's select all of these peach layers and I could select these two even. And this is a little bit more time consuming, but again, if you really want your image to be crisp, then this is a great alternative. So this is what's gonna be a pain, is that you have to use the eraser tool and erase all these. So we will click erase here and just go around it like this. Make sure not to get any of the brown areas. You can make the brush a little bit smaller and a little bit bigger depending on the area that you're removing. And 
let's get this little one right here. And now we have the medium brown layer. Sometimes I like to select the preview and cut image just to make sure like there's this little dot here that I missed. Other than that, everything else looks good. So we will hit apply and continue, cut image and upload. Select it again, add to canvas, and then you can select the color to here. And then let's one last time repeat the same exact process for the light peach layer. And this one actually might be easier because we can take the eraser tool and make it much bigger and just erase literally all of this. All right, and let's minus out, preview cut image, make sure I don't have any little areas. I think we're good. So apply select upload select this again and add to canvas i'm just going to change the color and then we need to make sure all of these align up perfectly one way to avoid this also is if you wanted to just keep the size the same when they uploaded that probably would have helped there we go now let's get to here That looks good to me. So that is the second way to make an SVG. Here's the back to back. As you can see, this is the SVG and this is the one that we uploaded. Now you can tell that this one is a little bit more detailed, right? Like look at this, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more. Look at this area compared to this area, right? These are so much thicker. The lines are also much crisper, like you can see. Let's zoom in a little bit more here. It's a little jagged here versus here, since we manually did it, it's a much smoother line. But this is exactly how you convert a PNG or JPEG image into an SVG. If you have any questions, please put them in the comment section below. And again, if you are interested in how to manually draw and make your own SVG, I would love to do a video on that. Creating your own SVG just allows you to have more creativity, have the rights to the image, because of course it is yours and have the chance to possibly sell that and make some money with it. If you learned something valuable from today's video, please subscribe to my channel Amy Makes That for more weekly Cricut content from me and don't forget to like and comment your thoughts on today's video. I will see you in next week's video. Bye!